everybody, it's Edie and today we're talking about magical lucky green rice. So there are so many different recipes out there for how to make lucky green rice. Uh, you can find plenty of hoodoo spells for how to make lucky green rice and you can use any of them. Uh, they're all just as good. I guess it just kind of depends on what ingredients resonate with you. But um, my recipe is very different <laughs> from any other recipe that I've seen for the magical lucky green money drawing rice. So traditionally um, you use the green rice and nutmeg and cinnamon, cloves, that kind of thing, um, and then dollar bills, pennies, stuff like that. And I do incorporate the dollar bills and pennies, but I use very different herbs in mine. Uh, so I wanted to share my recipe for the Lucky Green Money Drawing Prosperity Rice. And the entire video is kind of dark because I'm actually doing the working while I'm filming the video. Um, you don't see me charge or empower anything, you don't you don't hear my words of power, but you do see me kind of go through the process of adding the ingredients. And then after I built the rice, I then went off camera to charge the rice and to actually do my spell. Um, I made this on the night of the first full moon in March of 2018, so on March 1st is the night I made the money rice, and then I charged it under the full moon. I'm gonna charge it again on Ostara. I'm gonna charge it again on the blue moon moon for March. I'll probably charge it again every full moon. I keep it very active. I keep it moving. I keep feeding it. Um, so it's it's a very activated spell that I keep working as, as it goes along. So I just wanted to come on really quickly and kind of give you um, a little bit of an intro so you know what you're getting ready to watch. But for the rest of the video, I will not be on camera. You're actually gonna see me make the green rice like I actually colored the rice the day before I did the spell. Um, and then as I was getting ready to do the spell, I realized I didn't have one of the ingredients because someone had sent it to me in the mail and I was saving the package to open on camera and then I forgot. So um, thank you, Sandy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I so appreciate all of the crystals. I love the little skellies. Thank you for sending the wonderful little package. Um, I did add the unboxing at the end of the spell video, but again, I'm not on camera. I'm so sorry. I just, I already had everything all set up and I was in my witchy mindset and I really didn't want to turn all the lights on, set up the camera, rearrange it, you know, open the package and then have to tear it all back down, turn the lights out, relight the candles, put it all back on the table. So I hope you can understand why I wasn't on camera to open the package but I so very much appreciate it. And you have a special little something heading your way. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, just quickly, I wanna tell you a little bit about my spell. I did the Magical Green Money Rice. This is a money drawing prosperity spell and you can see my rice is here on the plate. It's, uh, I can't really tilt it, but you can see there's all kinds of stuff in here. I have a green candle here that I have anointed with the oil that I made. I also made a magical money drawing oil, which is right here. This is a separate video. Actually, let me let me talk about one thing at a time. <laughs> so there is a separate video for the oil if you want to watch that. But the um, this is the, the video for the magical money rice. Um, my ingredients, my reasoning behind the ingredients, you actually see me putting this spell together, and then how I how I arranged everything here on the plate and kind of how I plan to use the spell over the next several weeks. Um, so that's that. Uh, when you make your rice, you can put it in little pouches like this. This is actually gonna go into my purse or my wallet. I have it tied three times really tightly so that it won't come undone and the rice won't fall out of it. But I wanna keep this in my wallet or in my purse where my money goes because I want money to come to me. That's the whole purpose of the spell. So anywhere you want money to be attracted to, that's where you wanna place these little sachets or just a little sprinkling. You can sprinkling, sprinkling, sprinkle. You can and sprinkle um, the the money rice at your uh, front door so that money comes into your home keep it in your wallet or in your purse keep it in your pants pocket um, 
like I'm an Uber driver, I'm gonna keep another little sachet into my car, in my car, because my car is where my money comes from, so if you work at a desk, you could keep some on your desk. Um, it, wherever your money flows to, you could put a, a little photo of your bank or, you know, um, a bank statement or something and put some of this on top of it. Uh, just wherever your money goes, that's where you wanna keep little sprinklings of this, as well as, you know, on, a, on an offering plate somewhere, burn it with a candle, you can journal to, to you know, journal about money, um, whatever it is, use your candle when you're doing those workings. Now, for the oil, this is a separate video. There's actually no intro for the oil video because I, had, I was doing this one, and um, I was planning on putting the two videos together, but the rice video ran longer than I expected, so the oil video is separate. There's no intro to that one really, so consider this your intro to the oil video. This is my money drawing oil. You can see all the, oh, look at, look at, all the ingredients just floating around in there. Um, and you can hear my stove beeping. I have something on the stove that I have to go turn off. Anyway, um, so yeah, the video for this is not nearly as long. It's a very quick, here's what I'm doing. I'm throwing this in. Um, what you didn't see off camera was me actually taking my time charging it and powering it and all that like you do in the, um, in the rice video. I don't, I don't talk nearly as much in the oil video. They are pretty much the same ingredients. Um, with the exception of the rice. I didn't put the rice in here. So if you want to see the recipe for that, it will be linked down below here in the description of the rice video. So consider this your introduction to the oil video as well. So the way I use the oil is every time I work with the plate that has the rice and the candle on it, I anoint the plate, I anoint the candle. Um, the candle, the the cylinder itself, the jar of the candle is already anointed. The plate is already anointed. I'm going to anoint my sachet. I'm going to anoint my wallet. Um, I'm going to, like I have a, 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 a old bank card, a, what's it, an expired, an expired bank card. Um, it's still the exact same account number, it's just I got my new card in the mail so I don't use the old one anymore. I'm gonna anoint that so that, and you could actually anoint your current bank card, just don't do it on the side with the chip or the, um, if you still have that little strip that you have to swipe. Um, I wouldn't recommend any of that because the oil can affect those kinds of things, so just be super careful if you're anointing anything that you currently use. But in, anoint the inside of your wallet, draw sigils, use the oil to draw the sigils. Um, and you can draw whatever sigils speak to you. It can just be dollar signs, it can be the word money. Um, it could be little circles for coins, it could be little rectangles for squares. You could create your own sigils and just use the money drawing oil to draw those sigils in your wallet on the plate, on the side of the candle, um, wherever, on the sachet, wherever you're gonna use the rice, that's where you want to use the oil as well. And they, they just work in hand, work hand in hand and boost that power. So uh, I keep my uh, money drawing rice with the candle on a money altar. It's a prosperity altar that I work and I feed the spell. I feed the plate with more fresh rice. I have an extra bucket full of the rice. You'll see in the video I, I made a big bowl of it. And I just feed a little pinch every time I work with the candle, every time I work the spell, every time I journal about money, every time I'm, you know, uh, empowering that spell, whenever I charge it under the moon, all of those things, I just feed it a little bit more of that fresh rice just to keep it active, just to keep that money flowing in, that fresh rice money flowing in. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like the ingredients that I have chosen to use. I'd really love to hear what you think about the ingredients, if you resonate with those, if you want to use those same ingredients, or if you more 
if you if the traditional ingredients resonate more with you so I'd love to hear how you make the rice if you choose to do so so leave me a comment down below if you like what I do here don't forget to hit the little subscribe button that way you don't miss anything and then click the little bell that way you get the notifications from YouTube letting you know I've uploaded a video um, we are doing some cool stuff over in Edie's Cosmic Gathering Place we are reading Gaia Codex together and just kind of sharing our insights I'm posting excerpts so actual like screenshots of the book I got the digital copy of it so that I could easily do screenshots and just post them right into the, the gathering place. So we are doing that. I'm also going to be recording an Ostara video. So I'm going to be talking about my personal associations of each of the Sabbats and Esbats and the seasons through the year. And I'll only be sharing those in Edie's Cosmic Gathering Place. So if you want to see how I celebrate the Sabbats and my personal associations and kind of what they mean to me and what I do and, and how I use that energy of the year and how I developed my own personal associations because my associations, again, are not traditional. Um, because the traditional stuff just doesn't really resonate or make sense to me in this environment and in this day and age. So I have uh, learned to energetically connect to the season and create my own associations and meanings and uh, rituals. So if you want to follow along with that and see those throughout the year, then come on, come on over to Edie's Cosmic Gathering Place because that's the only place I'll be sharing those videos. The link for the Cosmic Gathering Place will be in the description bar below, so click on over there and come join me in that space. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Keep watching for the entire spell video as well as the unboxing. And remember, you are fierce, you are fabulous, and you are fucking badass. So keep that shit up, and I'll see you next time. Mwah. Bye! So as you can tell, I'm recording this at a different time from the rest of the video. I need the rice to be able to dry back out after I add the green food color to it. So I'm actually recording this the day before I'm doing the rest of the working. So uh, this is just my rice. This is the, the rice out of my kitchen. You don't have to go out and buy anything special. You can use the rice that you have on hand or you can go out and buy a bag of long grain rice or whatever kind of rice you choose to use. And I'm going to add all of the rice that I'm coloring green, because I'm going to be using two different colors. Uh, all of the rice that I'm coloring green is going to go in here. And I'm making quite a large batch of this, so I think, I think that's good. That's just about two cups of rice. So I'm going to start with this. Uh, there's no way I'm going to use this whole thing, but um, I like to have a big bottle just to be on the safe side. So I'm actually gonna use two colors out of this. I'm gonna use yellow and green. So I'm gonna have green rice and gold rice. You'll mix this one separately, but I'm gonna show you the process. So I'm just gonna take the green food coloring and add several drops. You could stir this in, uh, but you could, you could also do the way I'm doing it. And um, I'm adding the green food color in a clockwise motion, but I'm not necessarily enchanting the green right now because I just want to kind of get it going. Like I said, you could totally stir this, but I feel like shaking it gets it woo, gets it incorporated much better. Um, and you just when you think it's shaken up, like that looks pretty good. Trust me, it's not. Keep shaking because there are bits in here that still have kind of the, the wet food color and probably like... Um, clumps of food color so you just want to shake it shake it probably twice or three times as long as you think you need to shake it let's see Ooh, it's so pretty and you can make this as light or as dark as you want I want really dark green rice. So I added quite a bit of food coloring. You could do three different shades. You could do a much lighter green. You could add the whole bottle in there. Like it's totally up to you. You really just have to eyeball it at this point. So I'm happy with the way the green looks. Now I wanna do my golden rice. And uh, I'm doing three cups of rice. I tend to do things in threes. So I did two cups of green and I'm gonna do one cup of gold. Just because I like the way the colors look together. There are a million ways to make green prosperity rice. Do, do you do you, boo. I'm doing what I like. So, 
Now I'm going to take the yellow food color and I'm going to do the exact same thing. And I'm just going to shake it up. Cool. That looks so good. So you can see how the green and the gold are going to go together. And again, like you could absolutely charge the yellow and and then put that into the rice. For me, it's more like at this point it's like gathering the ingredients. You know, how you go, you go to the store, you buy everything you need, you go out in nature, you collect the things that you find that you need. That's kind of like the gathering of the ingredients and I don't charge things at that time. So this is a gathering of the ingredients. I needed green rice, I needed golden rice. So this is a gathering of the ingredients. Once I get ready to actually create the spell, that's when I'll charge these items. So I'll charge the green rice with its intent and I'll charge the yellow rice with its intent. So now what I want to do, because I want this to dry uh, all day long so that the rice is completely dry. You don't want any moisture in your rice, which is why I'm doing this part the day before the spell. Uh, you want your rice to be nice and dry because moisture can lead to mold and uh, the rice can just get funky and that is not something you want to be happening in any magical working but especially not a prosperity working. So I have this spread out nice and flat. I mean it's not perfectly flat. There's a, there's a pile but um, a lot more air is going to get to more of this than it would if it was just in a clump here in the bowl. So throughout the day I'll come through and like, you know, um, shake it around on the plate and then spread it back out so that it gets dry all the way through. And as you're shaking, another thing that I wanted to say, I'm gonna do it in the empty bowl so it's not so loud, but you wanna go in many different directions because you want the rice to kind of rub up against each other and um, you wanna spread that color around. So don't just shake up and down. Shake in circles, go the opposite way, up and down, back and forth, flip it over, do the same thing. You want to go in as many different directions shaking the rice with the color as possible because that way you get a nice evenly distributed color and you don't have a bunch of rice that's just white because because uh, it didn't get onto the green food color. The food color didn't get onto it. So now I'm going to take the golden rice and spread it out flat as well, let these both dry, and then we'll come back and do the spell work tomorrow. Okay, I've made some space and brought my green rice here in front of me. Let me just bring the moon lamp over so I can show you. This is the green rice that I mixed up earlier, and you can see how bright green that is. It is so pretty. It's such a pretty green. And I also have the yellow golden rice here that I mixed up. Both of the colors of rice are completely dry now. And I think that's going to look really pretty together. So what I'm going to do is charge and empower each item as I get ready to add it. And then I will charge the overall spell once it's all ha added here in the bowl. Normally I like to work in glass, but I don't have a magical glass bowl that's large enough to mix this in, so I'm using a plastic bowl. What I wanna do is charge the green rice, the base rice, this is the base, and I'm gonna charge that with my intention, and then I'll be back to add the next ingredient. Okay, now I want to charge the yellow rice. So now I just want to mix the gold rice into the green rice and I do everything clockwise and try to do it in three circles. That's just me. 
I want to make sure every last grain is down in there. I'm just going to mix that together three times. And it's not going to look very mixed right now, but I'm just trying to incorporate everything. Once I get all of the ingredients placed in here, I will then stir and charge and empower and add my energy to it once all the ingredients are inside. Now I have my bay leaf. I have nine bay leaves here. I do everything by threes, so three or three times three, which is nine. So I have my nine bay leaf here, and I'm just going to charge and empower those. So now what I want to do is break up my bay leaf, and I think I'm going to do that over the plate so that I can get them nice and broken up. And you could do this in a mortar and pestle if you really wanted it finely ground. Like if you wanted uh, teeny tiny little pieces of bay, you could do this in your mortar and pestle. I want fairly large pieces, so I'm just going to break it up with my fingers. Once you have them broken up the size you want, you want to put those into your rice. And I do everything again clockwise and in threes if I can. So there's one, two, three pinches. And I know some of you may be wondering why I broke it up instead of leaving them whole. Um, I just look at it like the bay leaf is being transformed into seeds. So from one large piece, from one to many, because that's what I want my money to do. I want my money to grow. So these are like little seeds. It's being transformed from one into many. From this one, many shall grow. So now I'm just going to stir it three times. Incorporate that in there. Next, I have collard greens. I have three full leaves here. As you can see, they were whole leaves. I picked them up today and then I dried them in my dehydrator so they are completely dry. You want to make sure any ingredients that you use are completely dry. Uh, you, the last thing you want is moisture affecting your, your, your item that you've created or your spell. So I have three full collard leaves here. So I have one, and then this one came apart, two, and three. I have three whole collard green leaves, and collard greens signify money to me. I eat them every New Year's Day with Hop and John for luck and money through the year. So uh, collard greens are a huge symbol for money to me. So I just want to charge and empower these. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the collard greens. And I'm just going to break them up because from one become many. This was much easier to crumble than the bay leaf. <laughs> and I don't want it too fine. want to make sure you don't have any large chunks in there. Unless you want large chunks, then leave them. God, these smell good. <laughs> I was not expecting them. God damn, those smell so good. I was so not expecting that. All right, so one, two, Three pinches. I want to get every little bit in there. And then stir it three times. One, two, three. Now I want to add some clover. I, I harvested the clover myself yesterday and dried it in the dehumidifier. So I'm going to take some of the clover most of the clover. Put it over here. 
and I just need to get it off of the stems. And this may seem tedious to sit here and pluck all of these little petals off of the clover, but that's just your energy that you're putting into it. You're taking the time to uh, pull these petals off one at a time. That's just putting your love and care and energy into the spell, which is just going to make it more powerful. So, on these little seemingly tedious bits, don't don't look at it as being tedious. Look at it as you're putting your energy into it and you're spending more one-on-one, -on -one, you know, close personal time with each ingredient when you have to do this. Dude, the collard greens are sitting right here. I don't know if you can see, but they're right here. My nose is right over this bowl. I don't know why these dried collard greens smell so good, but they smell like, I don't know, they smell like <laughs> good cooked food. <laughs> it's crazy that they smell so good. I was not expecting that. I just thought they were going to smell like nothing or maybe, maybe like, you know, collard greens like raw. They don't really smell all that good, but since I dried them out, damn, they smell good. And I love collard greens. Like, I eat them any chance I get. <laughs> but these, like, now I want to try making collard green chips. I want to try and eat this. That smells good as shit. Okay, I have all the clover off of the stems. So, now I'm just going to add my three pinches. And clover, to me, represents luck and abundance and lusciousness and just... I have a very special connection with Ireland and you know like the luck of the Irish and the leprechauns and all of that so all of that luckiness and and um, you know the gold and the prosperity and the the wealth and all of that is that's associated with the leprechauns that's kind of what the clover signifies to me so I'm gonna do my three pinches one two three Next, I want to add some rubbed sage. Now, traditionally, you could add uh, clo uh, yeah, clove or cinnamon or nutmeg to your lucky green rice. I wanted to add sage to mine. Now, I'm not using white sage. This is actually just rubbed sage like you would use uh, for cooking. I love the smell of this. I love the earthiness of it. Sage is of the earth, it's from the earth, it's grounded, it's permanent, it's stability. And so I wanted that in my Lucky Rice spell because I want the money to stay permanent. I want stability, I want financial stability. So that's why I'm adding the rubbed sage. Um, you could, again, totally add whichever ingredients are, are calling to you. But um, this is the one that I wanted to add, so I'm just going to pour some of it into my hand. And I also love the smell. So it also kind of depends on the smell that you want. This just smells like money to me. M money has a very earthy scent to it. Um, and so the sage kind of has that smell of money. So if you wanted more of the cinnamony, clovey smell, then absolutely use those. But I want that earthy money smell. So um, not only is the sage for the, the financial stability, but it's also for the scent. I'm going to add my three pinches of sage. Now comes the fun part. We're going to add some actual money. So I have four $1 bills here. I'm going to put one aside because I'm actually also making an oil. So I'm going to save one of these dollars for my oil. But I have three $1 bills here. You could use any denomination that you like. You could use fives, you could use ones, you could use hundreds. Um, my personal theory is that uh, uh, money is money as far as this spell is concerned. And I'm sacrificing some in order to get more back. And it kind of goes back to that the whole transforms into more. So the whole becomes the seed for growth. So 
I have three $1 bills here. Um, and, and also, as far as using larger denominations, which you totally could, but you're trying to grow your money here. So um, some people go on the theory that you know, the larger denomination you put in here, the more money you get back. I don't tend to to believe, or not believe, but I don't tend to um, subscribe to that train of thought. Um, I am giving money of mine and I'm transforming it into the seeds to create more money for myself. So um, if I'm trying to grow my money, then I I would, you know, not cut $5 bills or $10 bills or $100 bills. So, um, I'm just going to cut all three $1 bills. Oops, before I cut all the way through, I might want to charge and empower it. <laughs> and I am creating seeds. I am creating the seeds of more money. Because from one grows many. And so I am creating those seeds so that my money can grow. Okay, now I want to gather all of these up. And I've got little strips, strips of a $1 bill. And now I'm going to take those strips and cut them into little pieces. This doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be exact. You're creating seeds, and seeds are not always exactly the same. If you look at a lemon, if you look inside a lemon, all of the seeds look completely different. You've got large ones, and tiny ones, and fat ones, and flat ones. So, just want to cut this up into some little pieces. And with the size difference, you could also look at it as, you know, the different size seeds create different size denominations. Of bills as they grow and return to you. So some of these are $1 bills, some of these are $5 bills, some of these are $20 bills, some of these are $100 bills. It just depends on what they grow into. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Money, money, money coming to me. Money coming to me. Money coming to me. Okay. Now I'm going to do my three pinches. You definitely want to get all those little bits in there. Now I'm going to add some pennies. I have nine pennies here. Copper is a conductor. And pennies used to make, be made with real copper. And I think it's like 1983 or something like that. Um, before, from 1983 and before, pennies used to be made with real copper. Now they're not made with copper in the same way. So um, if you can, try to find pennies that are from 1983 or before. Uh, my personal belief is that if you can find a penny with your birth year on it, it's extra lucky. So I, I have a 1977 penny in here. Um, so that's just my personal preference. You don't have to have your birth year um, and you don't have to have the older pennies. You can use nice shiny brand new pennies if that's the, the feel that you want your um, money rice to have. It's, it's really just a personal prefer preference. I have all of the older pennies here and you can kind of tell the difference because the older pennies all have that dull brown look to them and that's just from the real copper. The new pennies are much more shiny and um, almost pink copper. So um, I'm going to do three at a time after I charge them. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do three at a time for three pinches. Okay, now I have my green stones. I have three of the emeralds that my friend Sandy sent to me. And then I have three dark green stones and three green and white stones. I'm not sure if you can see the colors on these. Let's see if I can. But I have several different shades of green stone with actual emerald in here. 
So now I'm just going to charge and empower these. Okay, so I'm going to do one, two, three pinches. I'm going to do the same thing for the citrine and the pyrite. So now that all of my ingredients are in here, I want to charge my rice, but first I want to mix it up really well. And now I want to charge my rice. There you go. That is the Lucky Green Money Rice. You can see all of the ingredients down in there. I'll actually pour a little bit onto the plate so you can see. Hopefully you can see it better. Oops. <laughs> trying to get it where there's no glare and you can see all the ingredients there we go so you can see the gold in there you can see the dollars you can see the herbs the pennies the stones you can just see all of those uh, money drawing ingredients in the money rice so now the way I plan to work with my green money rice is actually sprinkle some around the plate just like this and I have a candle here, a green candle, that I'm actually going to draw some sigils on. I'm going to create uh, an oil, basically with the same ingredients as this. So the oil will be a separate video just because this video has run so long. Um, the oil is basically going to be exactly the same as this. So if you want to check out the oil video, it will be linked below as well. Um, so I'm going to create the Money Drawing Prosperity Oil, and then I will be using that oil to create sigils all around my candle. And then I'll place my candle here in the center of the plate with the rice sprinkled around, and I will drop some of the Prosperity Oil into the candle and light the candle every day, and then I will be doing a magical practice every day um, just to work with money and um, spend time with money, which basically feeding my spell. So each day I'll probably come, I have plenty of this rice left over, so I'll probably come each day and sprinkle a little bit of rice, fresh rice on the plate, drop a few drops of my prosperity oil, and light my candle before I begin my magical working. So that's how I plan to use the uh, Lucky Green Money Drawing Rice. I would love to hear if you make this, and if so, if you use the ingredients that I used, or if you use some more traditional ingredients, such as the cinnamon and nutmeg, um, the way you thought about the ingredients that I used, if they made sense to you, if they resonated with you, um, or how you go about making your green money rice. So leave your comments down below so that I can hear all about how you make your rice. Remember, if you like what I do here, don't forget to hit the little subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. And then click the little bell. That way you get the notifications from YouTube to let you know that I've uploaded a video. Um, they will send it right to your email, and that way you never miss an episode. If you want to hang out with me in other places, you can find all of those links down below as well. And I think that is it for today. I'd love to hear your comments. If you have any questions, please post those in the comments down below as well. Thank you all so much for being here. Remember, you are fierce, you are fabulous, and you are fucking badass. So keep that shit up, and I'll see you next time. Mwah. Bye! Hey everybody, it's Edie, and I know I'm not on camera, but I got happy mail! <laughs> so this is actually a, a happy mail uh, unboxing, unwrapping, but um, as you can tell, I'm in the middle of preparing for my magical working. I'm getting ready to do some lucky green rice, and the video for that will probably go up before this video, but uh, if you haven't checked it out and you want to know how to make lucky green rice, the video for that will be linked in the down bar below. However, uh, my friend Sandy sent 
uh, I was asking about crystals and different things like that, and I was having a hard time finding crystal chips. And my friend Sandy said that she may have something that would work, and so that she was going to send me a package. And it arrived, and I'm sitting down to do the magical working, and I'm like, I don't have the thing that Sandy sent me. And then I realized I hadn't opened the goddamn package yet. So I have the addresses covered up, but I wanted you to see, I don't know if you can read it, but down here along the bottom, right here, she wrote, prepare to worship in the temple of the easily amused. <laughs> and I just love that. So I cut it open the package so that I could get into it a little bit easier. And I just wanted to open it on camera real quick, but I do need to tear into the tape first. She taped it up really well, which I appreciate so, so much. So let me pull this out. All right, and she has it all nicely bubble wrapped. Oh my God, I see skeletons. <laughs> I see skeletons. Ooh, I want you to see what's inside here. Yeah. All right, so I see skeletons. <laughs> oh my God. Let's see if I can get them out. Hold on, I gotta be off camera. <laughs> These are so cool. <gasps> They're bendable skeletons. <gasps> These are awesome. Oh my gosh. I've never seen these. I've seen the little plastic ones. They're like rubbery. Come out, you little bastard. There we go. <gasps> They're posable. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Look at. <laughs> These are awesome. Oh my god, I'm going to be so entertained by this for so long. <laughs> Probably way longer than I should be, but. And I love him. He's like, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sit him right here. <laughs> so he can watch over us. Oh, those are so cute. I love them. Thank you so much, Sandy. And look, she sent, ooh, ooh, she sent me three little envelopes. And so for the spell that I'm doing for the magic green rice, for the lucky green rice, I needed emerald, citrine, and pyrite. And I had a hell of a time finding chips. I actually finally did find the citrine and the pyrite, but I still hadn't found emerald. So thank you so much, Sandy, because without you, I would not have actual emerald. I did get some green stones, but they were not emerald. But she sent me some emerald, which I could not find locally. Oh, well, let me rephrase that. I found some, but it, again, it was big pieces and I would have had to break it. And that was kind of what I was trying to avoid. What? Oh my God, these are Oh my god! These are absolutely perfect. <gasps> Can you see the little chips? The little emerald chips? <laughs> Those are perfect. Those are absolutely perfect. Yeah, it's so okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put these back into the envelope, I think, because I don't want to lose them. Yes, needed those. Citrine. Let's see, is this citrine? Oh, citrine. Haha, <laughs> dirt. It's very dark in here. I can't really read it. So, this is the citrine. Ooh, ooh, these are dark. Ooh, look at it. Those are nice dark citrine. Oh my God, I love these. These are perfect. The ones I found were pretty much white with just the tiniest bit of the gold on the tips. So these are perfect. Yay! I'm so excited. And then she said, quartz. I added the quartz because it's an amplifier. Program them, program them as such to give the other stones a boost. How perfect. See what the quartz look like, shall we? Oh my god! Oh, it's stuck. They're so pretty. They almost look like diamonds. 
they're so shiny and clear and perfect. Oh my god, I love these so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know you can't see the smile on my face, but I am so giddy. I'm so excited. Thank you, Sandy. These are absolutely perfect. So let me just show you the citrine I found were some little shards. And they're almost completely white with just the tiniest bit of the gold on the tips. So I really, I'm really happy to have the dark, dark gold ones. And then the green stones that I found, they were all mixed in together. So I've got several different shades of green. Some of them are like green and clear, but none of them are actually emerald. These are all just different little green stones. So yeah, I'm super excited to have actual emerald. That is just perfect. I'm so happy. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sandy. Ah, I'm so excited. Oh, wow. So, um, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm dropping emeralds. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. How did that happen? I had it right side up. What the fuck did I do? God damn it. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, this is perfect. I am super happy. Super, super happy about this. Because now I have actual emerald, which is even better than just the random green stones. <laughs> so thank you, Sandy. These are absolutely perfect. All right, I think that's it for today. Um, I'm going to do the, I'm going to build the magical green rice. God damn, I keep calling it magical. It's lucky, lucky green money rice. So if you want to check that video out, it will be linked down below. I'm probably going to actually upload the green rice video before I upload this one. Uh, or I may put them up. Yeah, I'll probably do the money rice first. But um, yeah, you can check that video out. It will be linked down below. Thank you again, Sandy. I appreciate this more than you know. You just have no idea. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah, 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 mwah. Uh, remember, you are fierce, you are fabulous, and you are fucking badass. So keep that shit up, and I'll see you next time. Mwah.